Hi everyone. Welcome to another session from Tech Canvas. Myself, Kanika Kucheria, will talk on today's topic, Introduction to Catalog Studio. Catalog Studio is a complete solution for test automation. It is a freeware and thus has no licensing cost associated with it. It's user-friendly and versatile solutions for web applications, mobile applications, and web APIs make it a comprehensive tool for all our automation needs. The good news is that it is very easy to learn and implement. It supports multiple operating systems like Windows, Linux, Mac operating system, etc and a wide variety of browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and even the headless browsers are supported. Java and Groovy are the supported scripting language of Catalan Studio. Catalan Studio provides very simple installation. We can set up the environment in a few minutes and, big and beginners can start with their first test script within no time. Let us see how it happens. From the given URL in the presentation, download the zip file as per your operating system needs. We first need to register to their site using our mail IDs. Once the download is complete, we need to unzip the file. We will get different folders when we unzip the file. We just need to double click the Catalan exe file and the tool will be launched. The look and feel is very simple and very much similar to Eclipse. So it will not be very difficult to learn. As we have seen the installation steps of Catalan Studio, let's talk more about it. Catalan Studio has flexible modes for test automation, which can be used as per our needs. As beginners, we can start with the first mode, which is record and play. Another mode is the manual mode, which has tabular interface and has a draw, drag and drop capabilities. We can select variety of keywords and utilities from the palette. The third mode is the scripting mode, where we can write our advanced scripting logic in it. Yes, it does have autocomplete and code assistance for our help. Let's have a quick view of the tool and start with our first automation script. Now, as we are done with the installation of Catalan Studio, let us see how does the tool looks like. Once we launch Catalan Studio, the screen will look like this. Let's see the important parts which would be required for our test automation. First is the text explorer on the left hand side. This will contain all the test artifacts. The next is the keyword browser which would be utilized if we want the manual mode. This is the quick access toolbar. So important links would be like spyweb, this one recordweb, if we want to do mobile testing, then record mobile, then run if we want to execute our test case, etc. Next is the job progress, which will show the progress of all our test cases. Then below are different views, the problems view. If any uh, failures occur in our test case, then it will be logged here. Console view, it will show the system logs of the test execution. Next is the log viewer, which will show the real time logs of the tests that are executed. Now let's learn to make the first test automation script in Catalan Studio using the record and play mode. So the first step would be creating a new test case. For that, click on this plus button and then test case. Now we have to give an appropriate name of our test case. For example, I'll give first test case. Now 
we need to record the steps of our automation. So I'll click on record web. Once we do that, this kind of window will be opened. We need to give the URL which we need to hit for our automation testing. So I'm using google.com and the browser that I've chosen is Chrome. So I'll click on this. Once I do that, the recording, we need to include all those steps that we want as a part of our automation testing. So first is navigation to this URL. Now next is the search for a text. So I'll write a text here, test. Now I'll select one of our choices from the drop down. So here I'm selecting test automation in DevOps. Once I've done that, now I'll close this browser. So these are the st uh, steps that I want to include in my automation. Once it is done, I'll click on stop and then OK. Once we do that, it will automatically create certain folder structures. It, fo uh, it follows the POM model. So it will categorize all the objects according to the page. So here it has given a name called page Google on its own. If we want, we can change the name as well. So I'm clicking it OK. Once I've done this, so all the test steps of my automation has been recorded, which we can see here. Open browser, then navigate to URL, then set text, and then click, and then close browser. So this is the manual part. If we want to add any step here, we can click here. Or if we want to use certain inbuilt keywords, here is the keywords browser. We can drag and drop any particular step if we want to add. Then once we have done that, we can also see that there is a script mode. So if we, we can see the all that advanced scripting can be done in this script mode. So all the steps that we have recorded are automatically it has generated its script. So this was the script mode. So this is how we create our first test automation script. Now let's see how to execute our test case. For that, I'll click on run. Once I've done that, it will open the, the test execution. We can see the job progress here that the test cases are being executed. And then in the log viewer also, it will show all its details. So the test execution has been started and it has launched a new uh, a Firefox window. We can select a particular browser also if we want. I'll show you now once we are done with this test execution. So now we can see our test case have been successfully executed and it has become green view. So detailed view of the test cases can be seen in the log viewer for each, per, each and every step of our recording. So this was how we have executed our test case in Catalan Studio. So now if we want to run in some other uh, browser, we can just click here and select the browser from where we want to execute. So now as we have seen that with, with minimal effort, we can set up the project and execute our script in Catalan Studio. Now let's go back to the presentation. So we have seen that actually we don't need any back development background to start with the automation in Catalan Studio. And with minimal knowledge, we can start with our automation. Now let's talk about report generation in Catalan Studio. Catalan Studio is very insightful tool when it comes to report generation. It gives us very clear and crisp view of the test execution. The reports can be exported in multiple formats like HTML, CSV, XML, and even JSON, etc. We can also add screenshots or videos of the failure scenarios if we want. 
Now let's have a demo of how to generate the report. Going back to the tool. So this was our test case that we have created. Now I'll create one test suit for that. Click new test suit. I'll give this name as new test suit. And then I'll add the test case here. Add. So this was my first test case. So add. Okay. Once I've done that, I now I'll run this. I'll save this. And now I will run this test suit. So for example, I'll run it in Chrome. So now the test cases are being executed in a test suit. And by clicking that, you can see the reports that are generated. So if at all we have n number of test cases, we can club them into a test suit or uh, whatever test cases we want to be executed in one go. So now we can see that the test suit has been successfully executed and there were no failures. So similarly, the, the log viewer has shown all the details. In the left hand side, there is a report folder. So for each test suit, a report will be generated. Once we execute that test suit, we can uh, see this here, double click and see the details here. And if we want, uh, just right click and then open containing folder. In the folder, we can see that different formats can have been exported for that report. So here I'll use the HTML form first. So this was the HTML format of our test report. And we can see that each and every step has been very nicely captured and all the details start, end date, whether it has been failed or passed has been captured in this test report. Going back to the folder structure, this there are other formats as well, like Excel format, JSON format, then XML format. So whatever is useful for us, we can use that particular uh, report structure. We are in a good situation to talk about more advanced features, which are very easy to implement in Catron Studio. Let's talk about them. So there are different advanced features of Catman Studio that makes it all the more efficient tool for automation testing. The first is the cross-browser testing. That is, we can run the same test case in multiple browsers. And this we have seen in our demo as well. The next is the data-driven testing, which is supported by Catman Studio. The dynamic data sources via CSV, Excel, database, etc. can be implemented. Keyword-driven testing is also very easy to implement in Catalan Studio. Test management is very efficient. All the artifacts are managed automatically in the folder structure, as we have seen in the demo as well. It has integration with wide variety of third-party tools. For example, Jenkins, Git, Browser Stack, Slack, Jira, etc. And the list is long. So we can see that CI integration can also be seamlessly integrated. Or we can now rightly say that it is one of the powerful tools for our automation testing needs. So this was all about Catalan Studio of introduction. Keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.